welcome back to Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. My name is WW Deadman, but you already know that. And we are on episode 6 of the first party pack, You Don't Know Jack. Uh, the Anti Pedestrian Council. That. Okay. I don't care. I am Sounds interesting. And not to brag, but the cashier at Trader Joe's complimented me on my choices today. You did kind of have to. All right, then I'll just call you. Hey, don't worry. Anyone can win a surprise makeover. It might be you someday, Dumpy. <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... The Anti-Pedestrian Council. Hey, I'm trying to drive here, is our motto. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and... Well, you're cash. not doing a very good job. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> Get ready, time to crash it. Right off the bat, she mused me. If Taylor Swift broke up with every male currently in the world, about how many songs would she be inspired to write? 1.2 billion songs, 2.3 billion songs, 3.6 billion songs, or 7.4 billion songs? I'd assume 3.6. population is floating around 7.1 billion, of yeah. which 3.6 billion are males. Yeah. That only gives her a few microseconds for each relationship. We're going more, what, towards 8 billion now, but still. And on its way, this question got stuck in my teeth. Who's hungry? Okay. <clears throat> This one's a bit violent. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Okay, so I won't shoot anybody until I see their, uh, their, um, their pupils, their irises, their retinas, or their scleras. Sclera. Right, the white of your eye is called the sclera. But don't look too long at the enemy's eyes, or you might just fall <laughs> You'd have a pretty hard time seeing their retina. <laughs> Here's one for you, Cookie Masterson, the vocab guy. If Bill Nye the science guy learned nigh everything there was to know about science, what would be true of him? He would know nearly everything about science, he would know very little about science, he would know exactly everything about science, or he would know nothing about science. Nigh means near or nearly. Yeah. The reason why Bill As Nye in the know end know is nigh. Science is because he refuses to accept the Cookie Masters and unifying theory of quantum mechanics as the scientific fact that it is. But I guess people fear what they don't understand. <laughs> Four. Here's a good one. Your mother smells like the jungle. You? Are you most likely to see Tarzan scrambling to buy at the last second on Mother's Day? A banana bouquet for Coco, banana candies for Kala, banana perfume for Chim Chim, or a calendar of banana pictures for Abu? I have no fucking idea! Kala is the female ape who raised Tarzan in the jungle. His dad wasn't around much. He was too busy sitting around patting his chest with the backside of his hand every couple of minutes. This one's known as Obesity the Game, and it's a diss or dat. Oh. I'm gonna read off seven acronyms, and for each one, tell me if it's a type of healthcare plan or a type of video game. If it's a Should be easy. healthcare plan, press the left arrow. If it's a type of video game, Cause I know the, the video right games. Arrow. Cool, let's do it. HMO. MMO. PPO. EOS. FPS. RTS. MOO. Massive well, online. Not in perfect shape. Kind of like having an HMO. What? What's multiplayer online or something? I, what's an MOO? I 
can't afford to see a doctor, so I've just started asking the 12-year-olds I play Call of Duty against online for medical advice. They said I should go f*** myself. They also called me an asshole, but my rash cleared up. <laughs> Round one is complete, and you've got a decent score there. Don't screw it up. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And remember, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. Okay, how about it? Let's try. <clears throat> A M O O is a text based online virtual reality system to which multiple users players are connected at the same time. The term MOO is used in two distinct but related senses. One is to refer to those programs descended from the original MOO server, and the other is to refer to any MUD that uses object-oriented techniques to organize its database of objects, particularly of if it does so in a similar fashion to the original MOO or its derivatives. Uh, what's an MUD? MUD is a multiplayer real-time virtual world used, usually text-based. No wonder I don't know of that, because that sounds ancient. Like, is there a list of MOOs in here? It's basically multiplayer online text-based adventures. But... Notable examples. I don't know any of these. Yeah, that sounds ancient. Sorry. Uh, I don't think that that's that ever ever became popular in any way. Bye. Pussycat control. Oh my god, my cat's poopsie and mayonnaise are driving me crazy. And what do I get from them? Nothing. <laughs> Meows. If my cats were like the cat in the fairy tale Puss in Boots, what would they do for me? Grant me three wishes, help me kill a witch, impress my boss and get me a promotion, or help me break an ancient curse? Oh god. Uh... In Puss in Boots, Puss makes his master look good in front of the king, which results in him marrying the king's daughter, becoming royalty. Why don't you two idiots ever do anything like that for me? I haven't had a promotion in years. I have not been stealing office supplies. Those are complimentary, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Up next, that evidence was planters. If Mr. Peanut wanted to make some marzipan, which mm. of his other nut friends could he grind up to produce the central ingredient? Mr. Hazelnut, Mrs. Almond, Miss Cashew, or Senor Brazil Nut? Marzipan is a confection made from sugar, eggs, and ground up Mrs. Almonds. Regular almonds work too. And you can theoretically make marzipan out of other nuts as well. I was gonna say nut, didn't you? No, it's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. No one would believe the murder thing. Follow me down to the sea. This one's called Where the Buffalo Foam. You know, I'm having a pretty good day, which means. Hello, Danny. Yep, there he is. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Billy, why are you foaming at the mouth? I've got rabies and I've come to date you. What? Stay away from me. Did you get bitten by a rabid animal? Nady. Which of these animal dites could not give me rabies? A deaver dite, a non-goose dite, a king cobra dite, or a dadger dite? I don't think that reptiles... Affects warm-blooded animals, not reptiles. 
Besides, you can't get diseases like this, Billy. You're made of wood. Really? Then how did I get syphilis? That's a good point. That is a good point. And now, Yoko has no remorse. What Beatles album am I describing? Let it be Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, or Help. Help. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 in Morse code is it's SOS. SOS. The International Distress Call. Of course, if the Beatles ever got stranded, they'd need help from somebody, but not help. just from anybody. I need somebody. Help. Pucker up for... F this. How would you read comedian Will Forte's name if it were accompanied by the musical notation Forte? Will Forte! Will Forte. Will Forte! Or Will Forte! In music, Forte means played loudly. Mm -hmm. Unlike Will Forte's quiet and nuanced performance in his Oscar-nominated film MacGruber, Welcome to the I'm sorry, was I talking too much? Yeah. Fine, here's your clue. The prodigy's son returns. Oh the god. Prodigies in what hurry up? Who? Never heard of the name. Music. Would be sad if as an Austrian I wouldn't know one of the most famous Austrians of history. I have no fucking idea. I have never heard of the name. Uh, also, it's like, I mean, apart from it being a really common name. No idea who Bobby Fischer is. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> I don't know the fucking band members of the Who. No idea. Not a huge The Who fan. Ha ha ha. <laughs> being ugly. That too! Let's have a listen at the uh, ads, unless they're repeats. Don't say pajamas is the new game show that's taken the world by storm. Hosted by none other than Terry St. Pancakes, the only rule of this game is not to say the word pajamas. Mr. Edgar Loud Shoes, come on down. Yeah? I believe I don't say pajamas. What was that? You said pajamas. Now please sit down. Uh-oh. Remember, don't say pajamas. What you call clothes that you sleep in. Ooh, uh, 
pajamas? Nuts! Don't say pajamas. A word that rhymes with bojamas. Well, it's not pajamas. Bahamas. Poop. Literally, all you have to do to win is not say pajamas. Remember, in the final round, <laughs> really? you are still not allowed to say pajamas. Then I'm gonna go with my gut and say pajamas. Fudge pug! Catch all the action here Okay. On... Don't say pajamas! You all have to leave. <laughs> No, that's great! What the f are you eating, man? Just some fucking baby carrots, bro. Whoa! But they look like big carrots, only way fucking smaller. That's just fucking it. I don't have time to fucking eat an adult fucking carrot, but with baby carrots, I can pop one in and be on my way. No fucking way. Baby carrots. They're so fucking tiny. Can you fuck? Can you fucking stop swearing? <laughs> Exit. Thanks. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Until then, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Until next time, I'm WWD Deadman. Bye.